YouTube, my name is Crumb or Glenn for the win, and in today's YouTube video, I will be showing you how to make a god mode in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. We're going to be doing this using a similar method to that we did in the last video with a with a um, with something called pattern scanning or array of byte scanning or AOB scanning. So with that, let's go on ahead and get into the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Cheat Engine because that's what we're going to be using to read the values inside of the game. Okay, there we go. We're going to go ahead and attach to the Minecraft process, which is going to be minecraft.windows.exe, just like that. And now in the game, we're going to go ahead and search for our hunger value because our hunger value for some reason we can use our hunger value to set a god mode so as you can see our hunger is at two four six seven our hunger is at 13 value so we're going to go on ahead and scan for a value of 13 right here and make sure that we're scanning for flow There we go. Now we can go ahead and run. Oh, we don't even have to. Our health value has already changed. So now we're at 12. Uh, go ahead and scan for an unchanged value. So now we have five values right here. We're going to go ahead and copy all of these down to our memory viewer. And we're going to edit these one by one to see what they do. So let's change this one to 10. And that does nothing. We can go ahead and get rid of you. Change this one to 10, and you can see that that changed two values to 10. Let's go ahead and change that back to 12, and hold on to that one. And then we change this one to 10. It does nothing, we can get rid of you. Change this one to 10, and you can see it changes three out of the five values. That tells me that this one is most likely the one that we're gonna wanna work with. So we can go ahead and cut out these ones. So we have these two values right here. And I'm assuming that this is the one that we're going to want to work with. So we can uh, we can verify this by changing our value to something that is higher than our hunger value. So for example, our hunger is 20. If we change this to 21, then all of these should change to 20. So let's go ahead and try that. And it changes them all to 20. So that's how we know that this is the value we're looking for. Let's go ahead and cut this out. And we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a potato or any kind of food it does not matter just like that right there and we're gonna right click this and click find out what writes to this address right here okay and you can hit yes and now ooh, we're getting some, some lag so now we have this right here with this instruction moves RSI plus OX84, where OX84 more than likely represents the offset value for our hunger. So if we go on ahead and eat this food, see our hunger value has changed. And now in here we have instructions that have been added to this. We have three instructions that are the same we have one instruction that is the base instruction for this all right so we're adding rbx plus rax times 4 plus the offset 7c but we can see the rest of these have an offset of 84 so this probably i just died okay so this probably isn't the one that we want to work with we're going to want to work with one of these guys and we can also see that whenever we died this one is also offset 84 so we're going to go ahead and work with this first value right here. We're going to click show in the disassembler. This is going to take us to the memory region that is within that value that writes to this uh, hunger. So we can go ahead and stop and close this now. 
So in here we can see moves RBX plus OX84 comma XMM0 where XMM0 is being loaded into RBX plus OX84. So, okay, so that we can go on ahead and take this one value right here and create an AOB injection for it now. So we're going to go to Tools and go to Auto Assemble. And now this is going to bring up an Auto Assemble tab that will allow us to generate a template for the uh, AOB injection method that we'll be using. And this is slime attacking me, I don't really care. So we're going to go to AOB injection right here, and we're going to be using this value right here. We can go on ahead and check this by making sure that it matches the value that's highlighted right over there. So we're going to go in and click OK, and we're going to change this to God underscore mode. Just like that. And now we see some code, we see our God mode right here, and we see some allocated memory that we're giving to this, as well as the pattern right here and the pattern right here. Now this pattern is what's is where the code is being injected into. As you can see right here, this is the instruction that we're gonna be injecting into. So we can go ahead and go up here to the new memory section, and we're gonna write uh, move, and then we're gonna copy this right here, and we're gonna paste it right into here. And then we're gonna do comma, and then inside of these guys, we're gonna type flow. And then over here we'll type 21. And then underneath there we'll type jump, return. Okay, and then now inside of this code section right here, we're going to change this to jump new memory. So we're gonna type jump new mem. This is gonna bring us into the new memory that we just wrote. And then underneath it we're gonna write no operation. And with that, this god mode is now done. So we're going to go ahead and click file, and then we're going to assign it to our current cheat table. That way we can always use it. All right. Now that that is done, we're going to go ahead and go right here, and we're going to name you God Mode, just like that. So now if I toggle you, well, let me let me respawn first. That way I don't bug anything. So now if I toggle you on, and I take some damage, you see that I cannot die. Uh, this also works for the hunger, obviously. So uh, if I go ahead and eat, eat some rotten flesh, for example, it won't even let me eat rotten flesh with full health. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, it also works with uh, no fault. So if I tell, oh, screw off. If I teleport myself into the air, uh, you'll see that I won't take any fall damage whatsoever. As you can see but if I toggle this off and then do that you'll see that I'm gonna die now yeah all right so with that guys I hope you enjoyed my cape I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like and subscribe and be back for the next one thank you guys for watching